right, so today marks the day when Series 10 was announced. Actually, it was like an hour and a half ago, and I already got some uh, good ideas for the teams I just want to share with you. I got four teams in total, and I'm going to go over them really quickly. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's start explaining. So I think a lot of people fear this, but uh, basically before the... Series 10 was announced, a lot of people were theorem warning that the Series 10 is going to be a Dynamax Lex format and uh, in Dynamax Lex format there are like two main characteristics. First off, Gothitelle plus Rushifu is completely overpowered. That uh, is no surprise because you can't really switch out thanks to the Shadow Attack on the Gothitelle. Uh, Gothitelle also got Fake Out and that combined with Unseen Fists is ridiculously stupid. Basically, you can protect from the attack because Surging Strikes uh, just goes through protection and you cannot uh, attack either because you just you are going to just get faken out and flinched by the fake out. So uh, that's the first characteristic. Second characteristic of this format is definitely going to be pivoting. Pivoting between Incinor and Rillaboom is going to be incredibly common. Basically, it goes like this. Incinor leads, intimidates, fake out goes off, then it... And Sunra switches out with Farting Shot, switches into Rillaboom, that one fakes out. After that, Rillaboom goes for U-turn, and there is not much you can do to stop that. Uh, thanks to Dynamax uh, being the main source of prevention of flinches, you can no longer do that, and you're just going to get flinched. Protect is going to be extremely valuable as a result. So yeah, that's the main strategy. This is basically what Series 10 was supposed to, or people were assuming it's going to be. Uh, but you just can slap one legendary Pokemon on the team as a result. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So Series 10 is basically Dynamax last format, and you can slap one legendary Pokemon on the team. Basically, one restricted Pokemon. You can run like Regilek or Shifu as many times as you want, but as long as it has 670 base stat total and plus, you have you can only have one of these. So Zacian is clearly going to be the most overpowered one again. It was the most overpowered Pokemon in Series 8, it's going to be pretty ridiculous in Series 10 again. Behemoth Blade, Sacred Sword, just gives you per almost perfect coverage. Substitute is going to be great to prevent Intimidate and Flinches. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that's Zacian basically. This Gothitelle almost always takes Astral Barrage from Life Orb, Calyrex, Shadow Rider, which is going to be probably the second most overpowered restricted Pokemon. Life Orb Astral Barrage actually does, has like 43% one shot, but... Uh, so basically, Kothatel has to choose between Colibri Berry or Cassie Berry. Uh, Cassie Berry gives it a kind of like resistance against Astral Barrage. Colibri Berry gives it more resistance against Wicked Blow from Rushifu. And thanks to Rushifu being pretty much on every team, I think Colibri Berry is going to be much more valuable than uh, Cassie Berry. And you still have a small chance of surviving, so that's good enough for me at least. If you're going to go up against Astral Barrage, Calyrex, Shadow Rider, you need to lead with Regilek, which is going to slow it down, so Zacian can pick it off with Behemoth Blight. Also, Zacian takes Specs Astral Barrage without helping hands, so... Uh, and can one shot back with Behemoth Blight, since it's a single target attack, and it gets Rusted, uh, and Interpret Sport gives it enough bonus to just simply one shot it. Regilek is also going to be your friend against Tornadus uh, Kyogre, uh, but your main friend against Tornadus Kyogre is going to be Fake Out Spam. Basically, you can Fake Out it before Talent can come out and just simply carry the Tornadus. Uh, so yeah, that's this team. I got an extremely similar team uh, next door. Uh, yeah, right here. Basically, this is the same team, but it needs a little bit more... It needs to be more cautious against Xenius, which is going to be probably the third thing I'm going to mention. Xenius is back at it again. Xenius was ridiculous enough thanks to the inclusion of Dynamax, but without Dynamax, Xenius just reigns supreme again. Uh, you can just fake out Pokemon freely with fake out again, so it's quite easy to just get the setup going for Xenius. With Dynamax before, you just couldn't really fake out everything and it just was very difficult for Xenius to set up but now Xenius is at it again and can set up easily this is why I actually got a lot of special defense on Incineroar uh, for those who played 2019 you probably remember this EV spread it's supposed to 
Uh, it allows you to take plus two moon blast from Xerneas and then you can go for Snarl or Burning Shot or whatever. Back then we actually used Roar as well, so uh, keep an eye on that. If you're really annoyed by Xerneas, you can use Roar here instead of the Snarl. Uh, yeah, Regilicky could be a Steel type instead, uh, since like Rillaboom also uh, just already gives you so much breathing room against the Tornado Skyga team to the point you can just kind of rely only on the Rillaboom to just deal with that matchup. Uh, so maybe you can swap out Regilicky for a Steel type so you have a better matchup against the uh, Xerneas. I recommend either Stack Attacker or Celesteela. If you're running Stack Attacker though, Remove Taunt as an uh, anti truck room option on Gothatel and instead add a truck room to just set up your own truck room. Yeah? Uh, but if you're running Celestial, I still think interacting the truck room is a little bit better than you running truck room on your own. So, yeah, add Celestial if you're feeling Xenius. The next team I shall want to show you is this team. With Xenius, which was super spammed in the GC chat room uh, not too long ago. Also, why is there a monotype tournament? I thought you, people wanted to play series then. Anyways, uh, this team is again pretty much the same as the others. This is going to be very much the theme of running around in series uh, 10. You're going to have Incineroar, Rillaboom, or Shifu water type. Maybe you're actually like it to counter to just give you more speed control or uh, uh, give you better counteraction against Kaga and Tornadus. And the rest of the team is just going to be a restricted Pokemon and a support to the restricted Pokemon, as you saw. Gothotel is very good support for Session and Calyrex Shadow Rider. Volcarona is very good support for Xenius. That being that, uh, the reason being that it got Will O Wisp to nerf the physical attackers, it got Whirlwind to Whirlwind away the opposing Xenius, it got Rage Powder, and it also counteracts Zacian much better than Amingus does thanks to the Fire Typing, Flame Body, and Heat Wave. Xenius is your standard set. I actually don't have to explain anything here. Geomancy gives you plus two in special attack, special defense, and speed. About it, it uh, charges up on turn two, but Power Heart allows you to charge it up immediately on turn one. So it immediately goes into action with plus two stats, which is ridiculous. Other than that, I kept the counteraction contracted anti Xenius in center on the team as well. Real Boom again helps you with more fake out. This is going to be very pivot heavy team. If you want to play this, this, this is going to be... As absurd as it sounds, this Xenius team is going to play the long game, you know. It's going to just... Rage Powder maybe, then switch to Incineroar, or Fake Out, Protect, Parting Shot, switch to Rillaboom, Fake Out, Protect, U-Turn, switch to Incineroar, yeah. This is going to be the way it plays, and there is not much you can do to stop that. Also, I would like... Uh, do not swap out Dark Type or Shifu here. Because I believe Surging Strikes is going to be very valuable against opposing Nihiligo, which might get popular as they can rack this archetype pretty well with its rock and poison typing. Uh, and last but not least, Tornado Skyga is still going to be a force, but they absolutely need to carry Protect on the Tornadoes now. Just so they can avoid the fake out spam. Basically, if they can just fake out turn 1, it's just and you cannot protect, they will just fake out your Tornadus, knock it out with a Pokemon next to it, and your role strategy is just going to crumble apart as a result. You need to have protect on both Kaiga and Tornadus, just so you can oppose the fake out spam. Other than that, this team is absolutely the same. Snarl and Senor again to nerf the Xenius. You could swap out Rillaboom for Amoongus, so you have better counteraction for Xenius. It also... Uh, the rain also nerfs the fire type attacks against Amoongus, which is super good. Glass smoke allows you to beat Xerneas. Rage Powder is good uh, for the direction next to Kyogre. And Spore can be very annoying to deal with for the boss and Truck Room teams. Uh, Rage Lucky has Thunder now, and because we already got water type in, uh, in, in the Kyogre slot, uh, I swapped out your Shift water type for Dark type or Shift with Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch. So you have better counteraction against stuff like Cataract Shadow Rider. And last but not least, I want to show you one uh, sample battle of this series. I actually... Um, wait a minute. This, this is the right one. So yeah, uh, this is one of the sample battles. I'm just going to go super fast. So you see like everything in it. Uh... Yeah, hopefully my speech wasn't too confusing here, and I just went over this really quickly. 
I just wanted to show you the themes and like how they function really quickly. I'm going to dissect pretty much every single one of these themes and individually later in this uh, later on in series in the Metagame Mondays. But I just wanted to make a quick video with some sample pocket past so you can just kind of like play right now with the themes I think are correct. Uh, but the metagame is going to be rapidly changing it. The metagame is basically functioning for like an hour and a half right now, so... Uh, take everything I just said with grain of salt. It's going, to pro it's going to probably change. But yeah. Yeah, the gym. It's, I'm going to go hyper fast, actually. And last... Yeah, because this game is going on. This game is very long, actually. If I recall correctly. Yeah, fake out, second gem answer for some reason. Crazy terrain, intimidate, protect me, blast. Fake out is gonna come back. Yeah, this guy fakes out, protect. Oh, switches out, wind blast. Heat wave doesn't deal that much damage. Fake out, dazzling gleam. Well, no fake out anymore, and this is a loss, unfortunately. Uh, that's it, it's just, it's just, it's just too oppressive right now. And yeah, this is a loss. Grassy Cloud finishes this off as well. So yeah, this is uh, one of the sample themes. You can just... I'm gonna probably link this battle in the description of the video as well. So that's that. 11 minute video. I think that's all I wanted to say. Definitely look into the description of the video for all the pocket pasts. Uh, and I'll catch you on Medigame Monday. So take care.